Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Theoni with Thrifty Divas and I'm here with the fourth video I am filming in a row for you today. So I did turn the exposure up on the camera a little bit because the sun is going crazy and casting a lot of darkness. So I hope this is okay in the end. <laughs> but Let's continue on with another thrift store haul. This is going to be the barn if you're local. So let's, uh, well, the barn and the house if you're local, you know what I mean. So let's jump in and see what I got. So the first thing is actually a repeat purchase, which I don't think I've even listed the first one yet, which is going to be awesome because then it's a quantity of two for eBay. But it is the Betty Crocker cookbook, the binder with the tabs. I can't remember the year. I looked at it in the first one that I purchased. 1974. Was that the year of the first one? I think so. I have to check. Anyway, so yes, the whole binder there for $1. Then also for a dollar, I picked this up, but then I asked um, my mom, but I sent her a picture and I think she was confused and I, I don't know, because she, she responded something like, if it's not, if it, if the price is, if it's not too expensive, get it. But I don't think she realized I already had it and I was wondering if she wanted it or I should list it. But so we'll find out if she wants this or not. But this is a 1927 Shakespeare complete and over here, so there's a little damage here, but over here it says Shakespeare Complete Works, History, Life, and Notes. And I thought that was beautiful. So yes, $1 for that, 1927. Love it. Then I found these for a dollar each and they just looked super cute to me. So I'm hoping somebody else will like them as well for resale. And this is the Family Treasure of Children's Stories by Evans. And we have book one, book two, and book three. And they are dated. They're just so beautiful. Look at, I love them. 1956. Absolutely amazing. And there are like adorable little illustrations in here throughout as well. So... I'm really digging it. I'm just digging the whole thing. So that little set right there. Haven't really checked resale yet, you know, and they do have, you know, some water markings or whatever. Haven't checked the resale yet. So if the resale's no good, you know me and old children's books. So I'm going to be holding on to these anyway. No harm, no foul. Then I found this. I believe they charged me $2 for this. This is a fitted seven and a quarter low profile uh, authentic collection, new era, made in the USA, Yankee fitted. So it just needs a little bit of uh, cleaning up. I am waiting for my styrofoam head to come from China. You don't hear that every day, but I ordered it. And that is what is delaying me listing any of my hats or even putting any effort into cleaning them or anything. Cause I don't have the head and I feel like I need it. So anyway, then this beauty right here, this is an R. Dakin and Company product of Japan. It is this gorgeous little psychedelic 60s uh, turtle bank, ceramic turtle bank. I did pay $3 for it. Uh, this is in the box somewhere. It was kind of dry rotted. I think it was floating around. And the guy who works at the store actually got it out for me, but it's it's really not in, in good shape. So the turtle, however, though, is an overall good shape. It appears that it you're not going to be able to see it. Other than the paint chipping, it does appear to have some, I think it does have some hairline cracks, which I did not notice. So uh, worst comes to worst, I will keep this too, but yeah, I don't know. But anyway, and then it's just got a little chippy on its tail, which that was no problem, but I didn't really notice this. I'll take pictures of it. Again, if it's for a display for someone, then they might not mind. Might give it a shot for a little while, and then if not, I'll pull it and keep it. Who knows? I don't know. Then they did have a little sale going on. They had a clearance table of all items for a dollar again. So I grabbed a few things off of that. So this they originally, oh no, this wasn't, okay. So they had a table of all things for a dollar and then they also had 50% off of pink tickets. So this happened to be a dollar because it was a pink ticket and $2 initially. And it's vintage, it says made in Hong Kong. And it's this this little like wishing well, it's empty at the bottom. I don't, 
I don't know. I just thought it was really cool for a dollar. I think someone will love that. And I think there's definitely profit to be made there. So a dollar. Then I grabbed these for $2 for the pair. They are vintage Japan. One is missing its little cork. They're these little like pots, little cooking pots with grapes and grape leaves. I, I just thought they were adorable. No chips, no cracks. So $2 for that set. Add that to the bunch that needs to be listed. Yes. This one, I think I kind of regret. I don't know how much he charged me. I fear it was five because I feel like they probably did. But I kind of hate it when he starts packing my stuff while I'm still shopping and then he gives me this random total. I don't like it. I, I just don't like it. But I don't know how to stop them. And I know my stuff is like taking up space on the counter and stuff because they let you put it down while you look. But I really hate it because I don't know if he's charging me the correct amounts. I don't know if he's making things up. And some things I mean to ask for the price for and I don't get to like this one. Anyway, I kind of regret it. And and I, I I don't I don't know. It's that all in one plug and play Atari and I don't even know. I don't I don't know. I don't know if it works. I don't I have no idea. But it is vintage at this point. It is 2002. But I have one. I have one downstairs. So normally when I take risks on things, I like it to be something that I need or will keep anyway and I don't know. And if it was 5, it's too much it turns out resale wise whatever uh this was kind of another risk so they are these um these were finally down to the dollar table because they wanted five for those and they never sold at five they are these golf club bookends it's like a book and a golf club okay they're like books with golf clubs. And then it says something that makes no sense to me. I don't know if it's in a different language or what. Anyway, so they were a uh, dollar, luckily, but they don't have that high of a resale, it turns out. So that kind of sucks. The other thing I don't like is that this is like the wrong way. I, I don't even know what's going on with these. Now we know why they were never sold. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we'll give them to my husband's father for uh, for for Father's Day. I think that might be better, honestly. And he'll like them, I think. Okay. Then I paid $5 for this. And I think that was definitely worth it. Like, could they have priced it more times? <laughs> there's one on the bottom. There's one on the side. There's one everywhere. But anyway, it's, uh, it's newer because it's got that cloudy pontal, but... Um, I still think it's really pretty and I still think someone will like that. So it's just got these flowers and the flowers are kind of a different texture. They're like rougher than the clear glass. And uh, I checked it over and checked it over and checked it over because I was like, please no. You know how many things I've checked over and I thought they were flawless and then I was like, er, er. but I think, I, I mean, I checked it a million times. But for five, I think there is definitely money to be made there i think it's rather pretty and rather unique then their mugs are two for a dollar unless otherwise marked and this doesn't have a i meant to google image this i don't know this doesn't have a uh, year on it it says decorated by papel it is a morris mug morris the cat i saw it i was like oh my goodness and i feel like someone will love that so i got that for 50 cents or at least it should have been because I'll never truly know while he's bagging up my stuff without me being there. Then they had a little basket of things for a dollar each. So I picked up a few that I thought looked pretty cool. Um, this does have some crazing and a little bit of glaze loss. But this is WB and Co. Inc. Is it Warner Brothers? I don't know what WB is. I'll have to look into this one too. For a dollar, I thought it was safe. 1981, made in Taiwan. It says, was this day really necessary? And then it says, Aussie, trademark right there. And it is ceramic. Then I got this little Smurf hugger with googly eyes, also for a dollar. And he is, he's, he's a little dirty, but... He's so cool. Does he have a year? 
it says ITI Hawaii Wallace Berry made in Korea 1980. So that's pretty spectacular. Haven't checked any resale, but again, that's one of those things that I will keep no problem. <laughs> and then I thought this guy looked super cool too. This is Boris J. Ward Productions made in Hong Kong, Whammo Manufacturing Company, 1972. And I feel like he is from, oh, I remember this. I just remember this character in like comic style sketching. But again, a dollar. I didn't even look it up because I thought it was, it was a, it was a good, good item. Really cool. And then this was pink. So it was two fifty. dollars and it is a gorgeous ashtray. I'm all about ashtrays, by the way, guys. Um, you know, selling. And this, so absolutely beautiful. It has a little signature there. And it is Limoges. So I thought $250. Didn't look it up. But I was like, I feel safe to say that $250 is okay for that for resale. Oh, and here's the little sad dry rotted plug from the turtle bank oh and this so this was 50 cents too and i thought this was amazing it just needs a lovely bath because it's pretty filthy look at that and it's like so thin and delicate ceramic it it, it looks hand painted it's hand painted I love the shape of the handle. It's just filthy. And it's got like all the edges and hand painted in Italy. So I thought for 50 cents, that was fantastic. And I think somebody will really like that. Now this was on the dollar table. This I have been checking out for ages and I think they had five on it or six or so, I don't know. And I was like, no, but clearly nobody bought it at that price. Now there's no markings of country of origin on the front nor the back, but uh, it's redware. And it is this beautiful painted clay, clay plate. Uh, it looks Mexican to me but it was finally on the dollar table and I snatched that up without hesitation at a dollar and there's no chips. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. So we're going to try to Google lens that, see what happens. And yeah, but I think we're safe at a dollar. This was also a dollar. I picked up this little angel and it's Japan. So it looks like a vintage, like 1960s little angel. Can't beat that for a dollar. Then this was five. And at first I bought it for resale. That was my complete intention because they can go for like 30. I looked them up. I actually scanned the barcode and that's what, and it's, they're both a brand new inbox. Okay. But then I'm like totally torn because this is actually something that I've wanted and I've looked into purchasing for myself. So a two pack of them for $5, I was like, I don't know if these are going to get sold. <laughs> these might stay with me. It is an automatic touch free liquid dispenser, two pack of them. And it's for liquid sanitizer or liquid hand soap. And I absolutely love them. So I thought it would be nice to put the sanitizer in our house by the door in this instead of having bottles. And then you look all fancy and it's touchless. So this might be staying with me. That's fine. Then another item I picked up for resale. It was a dollar and it is this Fortnite grenade. And there I looked it up in the store and there's definitely room on that for sure. Another item that definitely has room on it as well. This was $4, but it is this Yeti Rambler 18 ounce bottle featuring over the nose technology. Oh yeah. It says it's like measured so that you can drink and it's still got all the papers inside there. So there's definitely, this is going to be, I believe a nice resale item. 
then um, I do have one more item from the barn, but I ran over to the house. So let me just show you that because uh, if you pay by credit card, you have to run to the house to use it. You can't pay in the barn. So when I went there, I found something else. And what I found in the house was a bunch of vintage hosiery. And I'm kind of obsessed with that too. I don't know why, but I did purchase them for resale. So they were 50 cents each. So I got, I mean, just look at the graphic. Like, I don't know, I'm obsessed. And it says yarn made in France. And it's nylon is 66 out of 100. It's The size is free. So one size fits some people. <laughs> and I got four of those. I managed to find four of those. And then these... So one is a little different and it's Learner by Learner. I'm wondering if it's, I don't know if it's the department store or not. I don't know. I just know this is vintage. So this is sheer knee highs, fits eight and a half to 11, hundred percent nylon. Yeah. Distributed by Learner stores, Corp, New York, New York. Yeah. Completely sure. Completely sheer sold only in learner shops from coast to coast so i thought that was cool so one pair of those and three of these one small two medium two in biscuit one in beige so these are learner stockings mesh pantyhose 100 percent nylon made of new exclusive specially processed nylon it says so that's also learner so yeah got that from the house all 50 cents each four dollars for the eight and the last thing i picked up from the barn and in this haul are these tiki mugs so it is a set of four they're four different colors and this is by accoutrements vintage 2001 china so there are four ceramic glazed tiki mugs so this is the first color this is the second color I, you know i was assuming i was going to sell them as a set but then when i look them up you would make more profit selling them individually so i don't know this beautiful blue one so they're all like a little different too in the design and the last one and of course my favorite is this one so cool i love them and those were a dollar each so at four dollars and if you sell them as a set you add, it would be kind of not good it's weird but individually they're way better but i never intended to do that so i don't know i have to plan it out i have to plan it so anyway that is going to do it for this barn and house thrift store haul. If you have not yet hit that subscribe button already, I would love if you would consider doing so and becoming a permanent part of the Thrifty Divas family. We would love to have you and we tend to have a lot of fun here. And if you want to take a browse at my eBay store, because many of you always ask me in the comments, it is listed down below for you in the description box. But please keep in mind, I am super behind on listing and I definitely put my lister to work. She will be here tomorrow tomorrow for many many hours so <laughs> that's gonna do it from me for now and until the next video stay blessed my friends I love each and every one of you